Alright, pack one, let's jump in. Permeating mass. Henry Battlements, no. Permeating mass, no. Emissary could be fun if we're looking at Emerge, which I haven't actually had a chance to draft yet. Noose Constriction is just a solid card. Uh, Outcast is a great red card. Enlightened Maniac again. Going to that Emerge deck or just a blue value deck. Emissary, so I still haven't had a chance to draft the, uh, the Emerge deck in full because it always gets taken, but... I could try it. We could see what happens. Uh, oh, Noose Constrictor is just probably just a generally better card. I guess either way I'm green. Yeah, let's let's see if we can live the dream. All my settings have been reset for some I changed my name, I believe. So it's Awesome. Um, Haunted Dead I really like. I know black is considered probably the weakest colour. So let's uh See what else we've got. Wolfkin Bond on colour, no. Thermo Alchemist, obviously a great card for spells. Outcast works, uh, sorry, Cultus works in the same deck as the Emissary. But you don't want to be picking all these guys up and not finding the Emerge guys to go with it. I think I, I kind of want to take the Haunted Dead, another card I haven't actually had a chance to, to play with. But then I'm like killing my chances of making this deck good if I find the merge guys shortly after that is the question that is the question I think I think I'm gonna just go ham find a drag under see if I can't do the make the mistake of forcing a deck from pick one and see what happens Chilling Grasp, not a card again, not a card to play with. I, I read it off very early in the format, but I've been told it's better than I think it is. Scardian Priest, obviously a great white card. Survivalist works well when you can get the uh, get the Delirium happening. I know the green-white human deck doesn't work like it could. Not a very exciting draft so far, unfortunately. When in doubt, take the uncommon. No, this is not an archetype I, I like to play with. I do tend to prefer the jump in, turn stuff sideways, rather than the turn their stuff sideways. It just seems weird to me. But hey, let's see. Uh, so for this deck that I've got these three cards for, there's literally nothing in this pack. Scout the Laboratory seems got a high setup. I think the best card in this pack would be one of the white ones. Good sideboard card, unplayable. I haven't had a chance to play it, probably never will. <sighs> Try Spectral Reserves. See what happens. It's a fine card, but definitely doesn't match what I'm going with at the moment. There isn't a Maniac, but I haven't seen any Emerge cards yet. I haven't even had a chance to pass the crappy ones. It feels like I don't want to go in all in on a deck that I don't get, but I'm mean, going to do. Do I switch out? Cathar's good in white, but not great. Paladin's fine, it's a 5 drop. Look, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick to playing and probably regret it. But let's have some fun with this. Oh, I love Burning Emrakul. Yeah, let's put my deck around this. 
Um, but seriously, no. Tattered Haunter, 2 drop 2 1, fires, does stuff. Or do I want to draw cards and take inventory? I could move this into a blue red spells deck, but I've passed too many good cards for that, I think. Um, look, hate me, tell me I'm wrong, go for it. Hey, look, an emerge card. I mean, is it better than nothing? Sacrifice this one, it's 8, mm -hmm. so you're paying 5 or 4. Mm. I think I just kind of have to take it, otherwise it's a silent swift spinner. Although in saying that, I only have one green card, it's a white-blue. I mean, this card is basically useless if you're not emerging something from it. Mm. Again, great sideboard card. Mm. <sighs> If I'm not taking this, I guess I'm looking at white going into a tokens blue white flyers deck. Is that a thing? First deck I went with was blue white, but that was a pre release, and you can't really take a pre release win. Look, it's. Okay, apparently I took a Torn Griff because I timed out, and I don't make decisions fast enough. Hey, Steel Wheel, how's it going, mate? I'm pretty sure I'm drafting these packs wrong, so let's let's see what's happening. Um, still, Will May, if you can hear me, this is my first time with a mic and a webcam and all that fun stuff, so if my sound levels are off, please let me know. Feel free to tell me how terrible this draft is. I'm going to take a good blue card. I'm definitely blue at the moment. I'm really hoping you can hear me. If not, hey. Not taking permeating mass. I guess we take white card. Ah, oh, sweet. Sounds like you hear me. Uh, I guess we chuck this aside. Sort by colour. Let's get rid of this because we're leaguing. Doesn't matter if who my opponents are and what they take anymore. Whiff on a white car, yeah. I like Fiend Binder, I'm surprised that made it all the way round. I know the human's deck isn't as good as it used to be, but hey, if it plays, it plays. Uh, sideboard blue card. Not playing that. Definitely not happy with where I'm at. Let's see if I can't find something to switch gears. something blue-red. What am I sitting on? And that, I don't want to play that if I can avoid it. Identity Thief's a card. I mean, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna complain about an Identity Thief. Lone Rider a card I've always wanted to play, just because of the, you know, if it happens, it happens, it'd be awesome. But, I don't think I can take it and expect it to happen, considering I've got no, oh, I've got, I've got no way of really gaining life and no kind of Augments. I think I'm gonna just hug the Identity Thief, stick with the blue plan. If I can get it, uh, what's the, the Emerge guy that, uh, not Dawn Griff, um, I don't know, the, the Drowsy Dawn Griff. Um, see what happens, that'd be a good way to do this. Oh, great red cards. Great red card. Great, and they're fine red card. But definitely not in red at this point. No blue cards. Looks like it was just an empty pack. Obviously, we're still very early in the pack at the moment. I'd say if I can avoid playing this, that'd be nice. What it meant cost? I've got 10 creatures, 2 2 drops, 1 3 drop, 4 4 drops. I definitely don't want 4 drops anymore. I think I would take. What's this guy do? Shield mate. All oh, the creatures get 0 plus 1. Yeah, not going to go with that. Dawn Griff, let's, let's, let's do this. We're going to play blue-white flyers, I guess. Flying, flying, flying. Yeah. It can do good things sometimes. Uh, pick here, we'd be looking at 
Scab probably is the best card. I can't really go past that in a heavy blue deck. Other considerations might be the Lunark Mental if I want to go with that heavy flying thing, but I don't know what my permanent count would be in a deck like this. Look, gonna go with gonna go with the Scab. I don't think you can pass a Scab if you're a heavy blue. And I've got a decent amount of spells as well, which is gonna make prowess just better. Never seen a clear shot in a draft like in, in an EMN draft yet. Um, would love to take it. Uh, that tells me green is open from that side, but I, I just can't. I already got oh, five decent. Yeah, no, I'm not, not going to abandon my color for one card. Although in saying that, there's nothing else in this pack for me. Um. Do I just take it just so it's out of the pack? And I mean, if I open something great in green, what's well, a blue eye? Not taking this, and I'm not taking this. Terrarian could be playable, but I don't think it's a uh, necessary here. Let's let's take the cliche out of the draft again. We're not got to remember that we're not playing in pods, so maybe that was a bad idea. Let's see what happens. I know if I take Fortune's Favor, I'm going to play it wrong. Ironclad Slayer, I haven't seen. Choking Restraints, probably won't at this point. Where are we? We're pack. Pick 19, yeah, I'm not going to see one. It's either the Slayer or the uh, Scarecrow. Got some 4 drops already, I probably don't. We'll take the Slayer, we'll... There is that very slight chance I see one, but yeah, no. Homunculus. Again, never actually played this one. Add Colorless. Instant or Sorcery. If there are three or more Instant or Sorcery cards in your graveyard, transform. I currently have four Instant or Sorcery, so they would all need to be drawn and in my graveyard. Uh, it's probably not going to happen, but how good is a two mana 1-1 one, one that nothing's... Yeah, it's not great. Geist isn't great either. Where are we going? I, I'm a bit lost with this draft. Unsub, I believe. I, I, I like it, but I think I like it a bit too much. Um, I, I don't play blue enough to know. I'm going to take the unsub. But please, don't unsub. <laughs> I'm hilarious. Um, Spontaneous Mutation, Faithbearer Paladin. I mean, this guy's not getting... Let's, let's just take him out. I'm not getting any cards that are going to be getting value for that. Faithbearer Paladin is fine. It's a five minute... I like, I like Lifelink a fair amount. Let's just take it. Anything... Sideboard turn aside. Guardians is fine. Two mana, two two. That, yeah, pumps a guy. The worst case scenario is that is you play it on turn two and you, or you get to two two for two, but you're still happy about that. Um, whatever. Taking advantage is, I believe, playable. Spontaneous mutation. I yeah probably should have taken that on, seeing as I'm not actually running any and actually worked with the Ironclad Slayer. Definitely see where you're coming from there, Peacock. Now I'm just sideboard picking because there's nothing worth taking. You can definitely stop paying attention, I believe, with the leagues because it doesn't matter what your opponents get because the chance of playing them is pretty damn small. Not, not zero, but pretty small. Yeah, mutation could have been good. What's my creature curve look like now? And what am I wanting in the Shadows pack, I guess? I think what's good in blue-white in that pack. Hey, Tilly, how's it going? Thanks for dropping in. Again, guys, I said earlier, I don't know how many people have joined the stream since, but this is my first time using the mic, using the webcam, so if my my volumes are off, or if there's something that I'm doing a bit weird, a bit wrong, 
let me know. I'm here, you know, trying to have some fun, but feedback is feedback and that'd be great. By the way, I know the draft's going great. I'm not, you know, definitely give me feedback on the draft, but I, I accept the fact that it's going pretty terribly. Uh, sleep paralysis, I guess, is a removal that works with my Slayer. Oh, hello. I've got options. Researcher, Mangala, Toppelgeist. Probably not the Inquisitor. Am I getting Delirium ever? What are you? Sorcery, instant, sorcery, instant, instant. So my chances of getting Delirium are basically zero. Top of guys, still a 1-1 one, one flyer and I'm doing a bit of the flying thing. I've got three four drops already. Do I want another four drop? Also, combat tricks aren't nothing as well. I think the research is just better, isn't it? It's a flyer, it's four mana. Yeah, let's YOLO this. Okay, I see Dauntless Cathar. Look, I know I might boost, so let's do this. Dauntless Cathar, yes. Geist, yes. Thoughts is fine. Reaper, I'm not getting Delirium, so 5 mana, 3 threes. It's not the worst thing I could ever pick, but wouldn't be great. I think the pick at this point is probably just the Cathar. The Geist is more likely to come back. The Cathar's not, because everyone likes playing white. Yeah, we'll say the Cathar. I mean, Port Town's on colour. What am I for playables? 19. Evangel's good. Drifter's fine. Evangel's probably the better one. Port Town's, I mean, it's a ticket or two, I believe. Money's always good, but... I want to win some games as well. Yeah, I think I'd take the Evangel if the deck's likely to board stall and draining opponents can turn out pretty good for you sometimes. Port Town could come back as well if there's no money drafter in the set. I don't know if anyone else will be in blue white. Uh, I've got Nibbles. My three drops are getting a bit full. Thraben Inspector is probably just the pick, isn't it? It's just great. It's a 1 2 for 1. Everyone loves Thraben Inspector. If I can somehow manage to pick up something to to buff it. Again, we're worth repeating again. I'm not happy with this deck at the moment. If I win some games, I'll be, it'll be fine, but I'm not expecting to, to 3 0 at the moment. Uh, Thraben. Just the Winter card, just the Scrutiny is a card, this is a great card in Triple Shadows, right? Investigating is always fun. I have exactly one spirit, two spirits. That's not going to happen. It's a target card you control and return it to its owners if it's a spirit. Okay, so it doesn't have to be a spirit to target it. Uh, come into play effects. One, two. Nah. My 14 creatures, I think. Uh, crap, what's over here? Scrutiny, wind. Wind, wind, scrutiny, scrutiny. For the clue. Spirit's good. I'll take a spirit. Whatever. It's 
not better than any of the 3 drops I have, I just don't have any equipment for it. Nagging thoughts might say flow. Hmm. I didn't even look at splashing to be honest. Bear Coop, I... Yeah, I, I, to be honest I've never splashed in this format. I don't know if I could or would. Um, is it something that can be done? I've probably too late now, obviously I missed all the uh, the ability, the, uh, the splash cards, but yeah, never even thought about trying it to be honest. So weird seeing myself. So 26, I think I'm pretty much just cutting these three, aren't I? Drawing card, I'm sub. Didn't see my port town again, unfortunately. That would have been nice. I've got, what, two ways to make clues overall, so Daring Sleuth is a very unexciting, nagging thought. It's probably the page. I'm not a poor deck. I think I'm just... This, seems, this 23 seems fine. But, I mean, the good news is we've got plenty of time to build the deck with the new leagues, so I can take the whole night to build it if I wanted to. I'm going to call myself Blue White Flyer, I don't think that's technically right, but hey, let's uh, see what happens. There's, there's plenty of flyers in there. Ooh, this needs to be bigger. Bear with me while I housekeep. Alright guys, I mean, obviously a lot of you saw a good chunk of that draft. What should I have drafted? Where where was the open thing? I mean, Coop said there was some blue-green white, uh, blue white fixing I could have taken and maybe splashed in my, my clear shot. I know there was a lot of white that I missed early, looking for the that I'd try to force my way into an emerge deck, which was stupid. But hey, um, it happens. But yeah, otherwise, what do you what do you guys think? Anything specifically I missed that you guys just like shaking your head and what's this scrub doing? Or did I pick the right did I pick the right seat? Did I get the deck that was there for me and just it's not great? But let's see what happens. Or yeah, feedback feedback's fun. It's not coming in. Daring Sleuth. It's a 2 1 for 2. Mm -hmm. With no. So I've got a flyer, I've got the 2 3, and I've got the buff. He's not better than any of my 2 drops. He's not better than any of my 3 drops. Nagging mm -hmm. thoughts. I'm not deliriuming at all. Mm -hmm. Not doing that. Mm -hmm. Don't have enough abilities for that. Not mm -hmm. sacrificing that. Mm -hmm. I think I've pretty much built the deck as we go. Fair enough, Tilly. Fair enough. I, I think I'd, I'd kind of... I, I started the draft with uh, Foul Emissary and the Maniac, so I was like, yeah, let's force the Emerge deck, and I did not... The, the only Emerge creature I saw was the Destroy Target Artifact one that, you know, you, you could play, but at that point I was thinking it was eight cards deep and I had that one green card, so I just decided it, it wasn't worth it. Um, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, uh, no excuses there. I think the decks, like, I, I think it's fine. Like, I, you know, I, I've been whinging and it's not great, but I'll, I'll do that pretty much any time I'm not drafting red, to be honest. So, it's, uh, it's just kind of the way I play. <laughs> um, all I can really do is play the games and see. There's a pretty good chance with a deck that involves a lot of blue, a lot of combat tricks, and. Well, not a lot of combat tricks, but you know, the, the, your unsubstantiated your drag unders, your grasps. There's a good chance I'm going to go to time. Yeah, I only picked up the one. I picked it up late. Um, I guess I could play a creature over it just to bring up my creature count to 16. Well, Inquisitor's a 2 3 for 3. It's still the draw card. I mean, drawing cards are good, right? What if I'm the Lone Rider? Yeah, I, I I definitely wanted to try the Lone Rider, but the Identity Thief's just stronger, isn't it? Like, it's... it's a, what is it? It's a 0-3. Oh, it's a zero three. 3 um, It becomes stuff and triggers come-into-play abilities if I get some wombo combo going with 
uh, crap, what have I got? You know, this, this guy, here you go, plus one every turn. Pour over the pages. So you play pour over the take, just as a better card. Yeah, I can see that. I guess takes one card, that's three cards. You can't really argue there. Okay, not look at it here. Basically, I'm just looking to curve out, have some little tempo plays, and win with flyers. I've got, a, I mean, I've got a decent amount of flyers. So, one, two, three, four, five, six out of fifteen. It's uh, the blue two drops, Tattered Haunter. Two one for two can only block flying creatures. Or in my sideboard, Daring Sleuth. Ah. Let's see if I can't make that bigger. Let's go. Show me just those. Bring that down a little bit and boom, 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 boom. Daring Sleuth, I mean, and I've got exactly two ways to make clues Scrutiny and Inspector. Is it better than anything? What's the other side do actually? I don't even read the other side. Mm. Uh, let's say he investigates himself when he deals combat damage with prowess. Hey, I've got a f decent amount of spells. Okay, now I can definitely see playing it. Where are you coming from? It's, I mean, I guess it's not better than my other two drops though, is it? Is it better than Paw? Is, is it better having a, a 16 creature count over a Paw? Pretty much my last decision there, I think. Yeah, no, I can definitely see. I mean, the, the deck does want to curve out, so I mean, hitting a two drop is probably better than not hitting a two drop. In general, but then. I mean, we can always try one, we can always side, like say, we'll go the creature route, route, whatever you guys want to call it, um, and be ready to just ready to sideboard out if I'm seeing a lot of two drops and it's never going to get through. Yeah. Alright, let's give that a crack, let's combine the groups, what are we looking at, 12 and 11, let's convert a mana cost. White one drop, so I pretty much want to be even still on the mana and I guess just one extra planes for the chance of getting the inspector off. Would have been nice to have that port town as a last land. Or do I go the one extra island because I've got the scab and the thief. Actually that might even make more sense. Yeah, you're not going to argue that would be pretty good. Morning words. My music is sourced by uh, Twitch Music Channel. If anyone's curious, I just googled Twitch Music Channel and I found it on SoundCloud. I don't actually know any of the music. It's not really my thing. It's just background music, I guess. If anyone has any better suggestions, that's <laughs> uh, let me know. Uh, we'll go nine eight. I think just the chance of getting the scab. One one drops are good, but they're not you know be all end all. So it happens again, I can always change, I can always sideboard. Alright, it's being saved. Now how do I actually play in the, in the leagues? Ah, oh, play. 